Good morning, family and friends, and welcome to the Woke Nation. Welcome also to this new day. It's our new day, and we are new every minute. We are new every moment. We keep changing. We keep transforming because we are energy, and we are happy to be here today. Um, I've been hitting on the wheel, right? So the last video was uh, wisdom of the wheel, where I show us that any God you are reading his will is dead because according to the definition of the wheel, he said it is an official statement, an official statement of what a person has decided should be done with their money and property after their death. So you can see it right there. It's not just my word. Anyone you are reading their will, you mean they are dead, they are no longer here, they are no longer here physically. They cannot see them physically, they cannot manifest, they cannot do anything. They are weak. So, but I want to go step further. I have dealt with that religious will. I want to deal with our African will, the will of our ancestors. How many of us know the will of our ancestors? How many of us? We have been taught away from it, although we claim that we still have them. And some, some of them, we mix them up with foreign stuff. So but I want to start with this question. We are our ancestors' will. We are our ancestors, our fathers, our mothers, or some people we call them our forefathers and our foremothers. We are their real. Yes, just as we are real. We are here today because they were here before. It's still the same universe. They did not live in certain place. So now we are here in another place. No, and there's no other place they are. Because many people, many Africans still have that idea that their ancestors is somewhere watching them to do anything. I don't know what their ancestors are watching them for. And these people somehow still believe in reincarnation. So you are one with your ancestors. You are the ancestors you're talking about. But you believe they are somewhere, there's a spiritual world. It's make-believe. Anything about spiritual world is make believe. People made it up. Nobody can prove that. Just when you talk about soul, when you talk about you, I have a spirit, is is make believe. You cannot prove that. You are the spirit. Spirit is natural. Spirit is natural. It's physical. You can touch spirit. Spirit is not something you feel. Oh, I feel when it passed me, my head stood 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 up. And I feel the goosebump. No, that's all out of imagination, not in reality. So understand this: that your ancestors were real, just as you are real. But God is not real, just as you are real. Because yeah, God never existed anywhere. No one has seen God at any time. Do you get what I'm saying? But he that has seen you has seen your ancestors. And when you die, you will be buried the same way your ancestors were buried. Have you ever thought why our ancestors weren't having all those like grave sites as the white men gave to us, although they built pyramids where they bury some people like that, right? But today you see uh, our, our people, you know, now building grave sites or that, you don't know. Because we, 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 they believe that the heaven then, they believe, is beneath the earth. That's where you came from. So you go back. So why are you building stuff, saying it's monument or whatever for the dead? They believe in reincarnation. They practice it. 
And so they don't need to build anything saying this is a gravesite for what? What they were building structures and all that, but gravesite for what? The person will reincarnate. When you sow a yam or a, a crop or a, 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 a seed into the earth, do you build the structure say, okay, it's going to be permanent? No, because you believe it will come up better and you reap it. So that's how reincarnation is. All right. So we are our ancestors real. Yes. Just as we are real. They live in this same world we are living today. But there's no God that is real. There's no Jesus that is real. There's no any, any character in any holy book that is real. All of them are fake. The second question is this. Did our ancestors loved, ever love us? Did our ancestors love us? It's simple. Yes, just as you love your children. If you love your children, you are ancestors to your own children. So if you love them, the same way you love your children is the same way our ancestors loved us. And because they love us, they made, they, they made up certain things, certain rules, certain even commandments sometimes, or culture, or tradition, for their children to, 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 to follow. And they did it for, uh, for the best interest, as they believe then, or as they know, for their children. So they weren't evil as they taught you because they, they care about their own children. I don't like using the word love. I, want, I love using the word caring for. Caring is better than loving. People, somebody can, can say, I love you, but that person don't mean it. But when it comes to caring, it's not worse. Our people don't use to verbalize, I care about you. No, you see it in action. You, they care about their love, their family. They, they care about their children. They care about their, their spouse. They care about their kinsmen. Not all today they will say, I love you. Many people will write a million times, I love you, I love you, just to get your money. I love you, I love you, just to use you. I love you, I love you. It's nonsense. It's emotional word. It's not something that can last. And you see how people are suffering for it today. If you love your children, or if you care about your children, of course, our ancestors cared about us. But the question, another question is this, do you know the will of our ancestors? Do we, as a people, Africans, know the will of our ancestors? Sadly, most of us don't know. Why? Because some people decided to destroy our whatever our ancestors established for us. Some people decided to attack our ancestors. Our ancestors were the great wise builders. They were builders, building cities and towers, building great structures. You are as our ancestors were the one written in Genesis chapter 11. They, they, were, they weren't consulting any God. They consult themselves. They come together and say, oh, we're going to build. They weren't enslaving themselves. They were builders. They, 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 draw, they draw it and build it. It comes from their mind. Also, our ancestors were great and mighty. They were greater than white people. They were mightier than white people. You can read it also in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 1. Until those evil people decided to attack them. People that never attacked them. But they were jealous and envious. They said, we must destroy these people and claim that God gave them, gave, gave them the land. Our ancestors had great possessions. Read it right there in the Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 6, 10 to 11. Our ancestors built what a white man possess. Let, let me read it. So you, you won't think I, I just saying it. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 10 and 11. He says, So it shall be when the Lord your God bring you into the land of which he swore to your fathers. It's not their land. The place you call Middle East today is African land. 
all those lands. Saudi Arabia, Israel, Ara, uh, Iraq, all of them is our land. It belongs to us. They kill out our ancestors. And that is written here. But many of us don't know that. He says, swear to your fathers, excuse me, swear to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, fuck them. They never existed. They're a fictional character. To give you, here, here, to give you large and beautiful cities. Who built those large and beautiful cities? Our African ancestors. He said, to give you large and beautiful cities which you did not build. White people are not builders. They are invaders and possessors of other people's possession. They took our land that have, that have large and beautiful cities, houses full of all good things, they came out from cave and possessed our houses full of good things which they did not feel. Hewn out wells of water which you did not dig. Vineyards and the olive trees as husbandry which you did not plant. When you have entered, when you have eaten and are full. That's what they stole from us. They stole our large and beautiful cities and say it is theirs now. And they kill out our ancestors and make us slaves, their descendants. Until today, we're still feeling the heat. Also, some of our ancestors have belief system. Not all of them. Not all of them. The builders did not build with belief system. Builders build with knowledge. They build with mathematics. They build with knowledge. Science. Not with belief system. Belief system cannot build anything. Belief system cannot build anything for everyone. That's what I mean. Belief system always brings hierarchy or caught among the people saying no this is for you you can't go this way so that's belief system of a people so when you read down there in verse 14 talking about the belief system they they, post, they took from also people and turned it into religion he said you shall not go after other gods our ancestors did not have only gods. They have gods and goddesses. That's why I tell you everything in the Bible is a lie. You have to understand the original, where they stole it from. They stole it from the original. The original have gods and goddesses. Because when you have only gods without goddesses, it's wrong. Gods is like homosexuality. There's no goddess there. He said, you shall not go after other gods, the gods of the people who are all around you. These people have been existing before the people of Israel in the Bible, and they have their gods. So Jehovah is not the first God. Allah is not the first God. Yahweh is not the first God. There are other gods before Yahweh, before Allah, before Jehovah. Now, verse 7, uh, verse seven uh, chapter 7, sorry, verse 5. Chapter 7, verse 5, here I said, But thus you shall deal with them. You shall destroy their altars. These people have their belief system already. Before these evil people came attacking them, they did them no wrong. They were building their large and beautiful cities, building great houses, Filled with good things, vineyards, wells, they, they do all that without consulting any God. Also, some among them, some among them, not all of them, have belief system. Then he said, You shall destroy their altar and break down their sacred pillars and cut down their wooden images. 
the images of their own ancestors like pictures they were making the images of their own ancestors and these evil people came to cut them down and burn their carved images with fire these people built this without the help of god but the people who are who we are envious say oh no they have gods we must destroy them the gods and goddesses they had were their ancestors our ancestors are our gods and our goddesses just as we as we are gods and goddesses to our own children so you we need to know the will of our ancestors some of us even educated ones among us said our ancestors we aren't writing anything down they didn't know they just passed down things orally no our ancestors we are smarter than you there is no european system that can make you be smarter than our ancient african ancestors they were smarter what did they do they wrote tests they wrote them down what to do you can still find some of them the the evil people call it the book of the dead that's the europeans they say it's book of the dead but originally it was called the book of uh, 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 of the rising of the sun uh, uh, sun like that i forgot but they change it they call it the book of the dead because they tell you that death is evil, why death is not. They say, if you don't believe, we'll kill you. So our ancestors did not only write it down, they write them down. They wrote them down. They have tests, pyramid tests, uh, whatever. They have different tests that these wicked people came and destroyed them. They stole them also and plagiarize them from which they copied their torah their bible their uh, their quran they copied from that way if you want to know the origin of every holy book that is under the sun today you have to trace back the ancient text the ancient african text you find where they copied those words and some of them verbatim understand that the will of our ancestors is what we call our culture and tradition it were written down also carved in stones because book can be burned they were smarter they they, they did not only write it in a book no they also carve it in a stone which will be hard to be destroyed But these evil people also came and trying to destroy it, but they did not succeed. And many of us don't have not even come in contact with that carved um, things or sculptures that our great ancestors made. They stole some of them. Our they make they they make their like when you look at some of some of the things they they, they carved, you begin to see certain things written on it. They use it to communicate. They used to do all that but many of us don't know why it is not our fault we were taught away from it and the, the the invaders the enslavers the missionaries they are all the evil tools that taught us away from our true culture and tradition and what we have today as our culture and tradition are not even the real one we need to know our ancestors will we must recover the written text of our ancestors we must recover the carved text of our ancestors those sculptures that white men stole from our land and put them in their museum and telling you that your ancestors we are worshiping idols carved images you have to burn them but they took them to their land Ugh. our ancestors did not only write it down or carve it in the stone they also orally pass it down to their children that's where they stole it and put it in your bible telling you oh the people of israel you will teach your children this when you are sitting down when you are walking you teach them you tie them on their forehead you tie them on their wrist you must teach them this our ancestors 
taught their children. I still remember, even my father, my father is a Christian. I remember when I was little, when people come visit him, because as his firstborn son, my father also was interested in Christianity and I mean in traditional stuff until all this born again shit came out. He joined a fac and everything. No, no more, no more. He as first as first son, our ancestors used to bring the first son. He must be in the meeting. And when they are going to meet it, they go with the first son, the one that will represent, in case if they die, this one have my experience. You know what happened? You know what they said to me? And we will carry on. They always want to pass it on. Then the first, the first son will pass it down also to others. We need to do what? Reverse it. <laughs> we can do it. I mean, I, didn't say, oh, I made a mistake. I said, the white people reverse it. Those things our ancestors passed down to us orally, they reverse it. So we need to do what? Recover all of them. Those things they destroy, those things they stole, those things they reverse. We must retrieve them. We must recover them. You cannot recover what you don't value. One of the Havocs or what one of the evils that Christianity, Islam, and Judaism has done to us is making us to not value what our ancestors really done for us. Our, our ancestors established. You cannot recover what you don't value, and you cannot know what you don't want to do. They thought you don't know any other thing. Forget the former things. Just know this is the word of God. This book is the will of God. You don't question it. All you need to do is to believe it and do it. And you see people preaching and doing what they don't know. But believe. We can rewrite them. We can amend them. We can improve them. We can improve on them for better, for better life. All that in Nana Hamene, Abumu Yeme, Oboraro, what our my, my forefathers or my ancestors did, I'm not the one that will do it and we become abomination. Yeah, it's kind of good, but no. Something that worked for your ancestors may not work for you. That doesn't mean what they did was evil. No, it means you have your own mind to rewrite it. You have your own mind to amend it. You have your own mind to improve it. That's why you have your own mind. You are now living here. And your ancestors also living in you. Time changes. Things changes. Condition changes. Culture changes. Tradition changes. Who do the changes? People. Not abandoning them for foreign war. Oh, the God of Abraham is my God. Abraham is my father. Abraham is not your ancestor. Isaac is not your ancestor. Jacob is not your ancestor. Muhammad is not your ancestor. Jesus is not your ancestor. Yahweh is not your ancestor. Jehovah is not your ancestor. Allah is not your ancestor. There is no character in the Abrahamic religious book that is your ancestor. You have no connection with them whatsoever. You don't supposed to trash your own thing for foreign things. That's why you see Africans still suffering. We cannot rebuild ourselves when we cut off ourselves from our ancestors. We have to reconnect to our ancestors. It's not idolatry. It is called family. We have to respect that thing our ancestors left behind. They are dead. But living in us by blood. We are one with them. They are not imaginary beings. They are not spirits somewhere hanging and waiting for us to do anything. No. That is belief system they are one with us they are living in us by blood and that blood speaks the body speaks 
Oh, you say I don't believe in reincarnation. Okay. People keep dying and people keep burning. People keep keep giving birth. People keep dying. You don't know why. Oh, yeah. Some are going to heaven. Some are going to hell. Bullshit. Let me conclude with this. No condition, no culture, no tradition should be permanent. If it is not working for us, we can come together, not vilify our ancestors, no, but improve on them because they meant well for us when they established those things. None of our ancestors established any evil thing for us. Whether it is a test, whether it is a sculpture, whether it is a, a, it's a word, all of them we are made for our own good. Those images, those tests, those words, we have to learn from them and improve on them as a people. There is room always for a change. There is room for improvement. Why are we living as a people that have lost their mind? They can't think for themselves. They can't feel for themselves. And they can't desire for themselves. Depending on foreign will. The real will you need is the will of your ancestors. You need to read that will. You need to know that will. You need to implement that will for your own good. Learn from Chinese people. Learn from Japanese people. White people also dealt with them, but they rose up. They say, no way, we must reconnect to our ancestors and learn from our oppressors to compete with them. And today, their oppressors, their one-time oppressors are afraid of them. American government cannot mess with, with Chinese government or China. Chinese government, they cannot mess with them. They are also among war power. Japan, among war power. Japan, we are making car before. They brought, they brought one car, pieces it, and begin to make today. Japanese car is one of the best cars in the whole world. See? See China now. Made in China. When I was growing up, it was made in uh, Taiwan. Today, China, everywhere, made in China, made in China including the statues of Jesus, statues of Mary, <laughs> everything about God made in China. And these people value their ancestors. Not having statues of Jesus, they have statues of their ancestors. But look at Africans, the people that gave the world both belief system and science. Look at them. They have been taught away from their tree, from their root. They are branched now in every other way, in every other culture, in every other tribe. You find them there, scattered people. No condition is permanent. It is time for us to wake up to know the will of our ancestors so we can do use it for our own betterment as a people. So do we stop being a laughing stock to other race? No condition is permanent. No culture is permanent. No tradition is permanent. We can be better and we can do better for ourselves as a people. Peace.